Kendi. wa Kenya wametakiwa kuwajibikia majukumu yao ya mikopo ya kidijitali ili kuepuka kunyanyaswa kila mara na wakopeshaji wa mikopo hiyo kupitia mitandao. Wakizungumza katika wakati wa kampeni inayoendelea ya uhamasishaji kuhusu muhimu wa usiri wa data katika kaunti za Nairobi wa na wasingishu maafisa kutoka ofisi ya commissioner wa utunzi wa data walitoa changamoto kwa wakopeshaji kusaka idhini au kupata idhini kutoka kwa adhamini wa wale wanaochukua mikopo kabla ya kupitisha mikopo hiyo kwa madhumuni ya kudumisha wazi wakati ambapo kumekuwa na ongezeko la shughuli za kibiashara kupitia mitandao idadi ya malalamiko ambayo ofisi ya kamishna wa ulinzi wa data inapokea kuhusu watoa huduma za mikopo ya kidijitali inazidi kuongezeka mara kadhaa wakenya wamejipata wakipokea simu nyingi kuhusu mikopo wasioifahamu when you asking for that loan and you say allow access to my contacts na hapo kwa terms and conditions imeandikwa we failure to pay the loan we will contact your grandmother and your employer please just pay the loan ofisi ya kamishna ulinzi wa data inashirikiana na watu wa mikopo mitandaoni kuhusu maswala la usiri wa data huku wakenya wakihimizwa kuwa waangalifu wanapotumia huduma za kidijitali we are working together with them and telling them that they are supposed to get consent from the particular either guarantors or the particular phone book addresses that have been lit, listed as you know as such as guarantors mashirika yanayoshughulikia taarifa za kibinafsi kama vile hospitali pia yamepewa changamoto kuzingatia wajibikaji wa hali ya juu kuhusu usiri na wadilifu ili kulinda siri za wagonjwa just imagine if you ever went to a hospital ukatibiwa a few weeks down the line mtu anaanza kukuambia we na ile homa ulikuwa nayo ulipona and this is a person we haven't met so you are like okay where did you get this information na kwambia bana nilienda hospitali fulani nikapewa files nikafanya je nini nika dispose nikaona file yako ilikuwa hapo nje si out of curiosity tu nikaangalia wachakataji na wadhibiti wa data walio na wafanyikazi kati ya mmoja na hamsini na mauzo yanayofikia shilingi milioni tano wanatakiwa kujisajili na afisi ya kamishna wa ulinzi wa data Nikiripoti kutoka katika kaunti ya Nairobi jina langu ni Nancy Okware na sasa nampisha mwenzangu Timothy Kipnusu ambaye alikuwa anafuatilia hafla sawia na hii katika kaunti ya Wasingishu. Asante sana Nancy Okware ukiwa kwenye kaunti ya Nairobi vile vile wakazi kutoka kwenye gatuzi la Wasingishu walipata uhamasisho kuhusu muhimu wa kutunza data yao chini ya kauli mbiu data yangu jukumu langu. Wakati wa hafla hiyo wachakataji na wadhibiti wa data walitakiwa kuzingatia kanuni zinazosimamia ulinzi wa data. We also need to undertake data protection impact assessment as provided for under the Data Protection Act. Maafisa kutoka ofisi ya Commissioner wa Ulinzi wa Data walitoa wito kwa wachakataji na wadhibiti data kuna kile visa vya ukukaji wa ulinzi wa data ili kuhakikisha hatua zifaanzo zinachukuliwa. Whenever breaches happen, we say it is not if but when. It will happen it happens most of the times all this involves personal data and then we need to document such a bridges now Commissioner of County wa Singishu Edison Nyale ambaye alihudhuria hafla hiyo alipongeza juhudi za ofisi ya Commissioner wa Ulinzi wa Data za kutoa ufahamu kwa wananchi ya kisisi za kwamba zitasaidia kupunguza visa vya wakenya wanao lagaiwa kupitia mitandao and this is cut across whether private public organizations We need to protect our data. That's very key. And therefore this complements the need to know principles and how secure is the information as long as you process personal data. It is a requirement by law under section 18 of the Data Protection Act that you register with the, with the office of the Data Protection Commissioner. Lots of complaint, eh? That entity is violating your rights. Sawa. And we'll come for them. Timothy Kipnusu Darubini wikendi gatuzi la uwasingishu.